Hey, welcome. My name is Donovan Patrick Mahoney, and if you're new, welcome. And if you're coming back, thank you for coming back. Um, yeah. Day, it's day, day 12 of this vlog thing. This is a huge milestone for me because, um, yeah, you know what? I started thinking about doing this. Like I, I thought really I was going to do this in 2016. I really truly believed that I was going to do this in 2016. And uh, yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> but then again, what I thought about getting like, you know, I thought about getting sober too. And I think, you know, 1995 or 94 or something like that, like, and it would be like 10 years before I actually was able to pull it off. So the journey's long, like whatever, I, you know what? That's the thing that I realize about, or that I'm starting to understand about life or that I understand about life is that, um, it's not just about like, you know, for instance, I used to say to people when they would come to my yoga classes um, to reflect on the amount of work that it takes to actually arrive in the yoga studio. Because <clears throat> so many things can happen. I mean, somebody can call you up um, at lunchtime, you know, you plan to go to a yoga class at five and they call you at lunch and they're like, hey, what are you doing tonight? And you're feeling lonely or you want to make out or you just whatever, you, you need a friend um, and you don't make it to yoga. Or, you know, so there's basically any number of reasons that your mind throws forward that is a good enough excuse and there's any number of excuses that are good enough to not go to yoga so it's a huge achievement when people actually make it to the yoga studio and actually that's probably the hardest work is actually just getting to the yoga studio and just in the same way as um, finally you know four years later I've actually been able uploading a video a day for 12 days you know grant you know granted they're not like <clears throat> highly produced or anything like that but i am doing um produced uh work on my instagram it's but it's taken me a long time to get here and but it's happening and so it's always good to think about the whole the big picture and not just like oh um you know this was a good yoga class particularly no like your whole life that led you up to the moment where you actually made it into the studio like that is incredible yeah because there's there's so many things that can happen and for me getting this channel going so many things have happened you know like I've acted out in every possible self-defeating practiced behavior to not get this channel to happen mainly perfectionism so I believed in the moment that you know I needed a certain type of camera I needed a tri like a tripod I needed a certain type of place to to do the video I need lighting I need a microphone um, I need to know how to use Final Cut I need to use Premiere Pro blah 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 and on and on and I really truly believed those things uh, but they weren't true but I believed them to be true because that's what perfectionism does. That's what self-defeating behaviors do, is they throw forward an idea that feels good, that it, 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 um, it supports the fear. 
and fear is a fear is a mother man like fear is so interesting it's like fear manifests as the truth too like you know when you think about it um in the moment uh you know not having a uh Sony A7 III with a 16 to 35 millimeter 2.8. Most people watching this video don't even know what the fuck that is. But that's fear, and my fear knows how to talk to me, manifests that truth to me that I will buy into that, and therefore, and then I won't do this vlog. So. <clears throat> Yeah, you gotta be you gotta be on your on your A game uh, when it becomes to when it comes to to knowing yourself, knowing and understanding fear, knowing and understanding your self defeating practice behaviors. So yeah, it's a huge success for me to be here today. Um, <laughs> For a second there, I felt like I, it sounded like I was going to give an acceptance speech, speech or something. But um, on the other side of this, you know what's really cool too is that I'm doing this every day, 100 push-ups. And it's somehow making my life easier. So what i think that is too is it's like if you don't have uh discipline and dedication in your life like you need to nurture that and create it and how do you do that uh well it's just by setting achievable measurable goals and for me i don't know why 100 push-ups a day for 30 days was the thing but it has been the thing and you know what every time i do the push-ups um, I do, so it says day, today is day uh, 21, so I'm two-thirds of the way through, which is so awesome. Um, but I, so it's a day 21 today, and then I mark down each set. So one, and then I set my timer for a minute, and I rest for a minute, and then do another 10, and then so on and so forth. But at the end of my... 100 push-ups I always write something that's encouraging to myself like I love you bro big love bro you're killing it like something and and I really embody and, and feel that like when I write that down I mean it and um and those 100 push-ups seem to be having this really big effect on on my overall work ethic like my ability to you know, show up in front of this camera and sit down and, you know, leading up to this, there was a lot of noise like, oh, I'm not going to have anything to talk about, like, pff, as if I'm not going to have something to talk about. I always have stuff to talk about. I can talk, pff, like, to anybody about anything, about absolutely nothing. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, so that's about, that's a sort of like a lot of stuff now it's going to be really hard to like come up with a title for that um i do want to talk about oh uh i ordered um a meditation set uh and some restorative yoga equipment so some um, wait a second i'm gonna see if i can pop this up oh yeah you can see it sort of sort of see it there that's like a zaboot and a cushion restorative cushions um the reason why uh the reason why i wanted to s say something about that is because um <clears throat> By having what you need, it makes doing the thing that you want to do that much easier. Like meditating is super hard. If you're going to meditate, I would recommend not meditating alone for starters because it is super hard. When you meditate with other people, there's an influence and effect. You just recognize immediately that, hey, if Bob's doing it, I can do it too. 
So you feel supported and you're traveling together. So meditating alone is not something that I would recommend if you're not a meditator uh, or if you're new, new to meditating. But if you are like, if you're bent on not going to the Zen center or like a temple or somewhere that you can meditate with other people, then get the equipment that you need so that it is something that you want to do. You're like, I have a place to meditate and do that because what was awesome is I got my order from Half Moon yesterday and I unboxed it and everything like that and I brought it into my room today and I was trashed and I opened it up and I, I swept my floor and I mopped it and everything and then and then it just it called to me like I want to sit down and meditate and I did and it was absolutely amazing like Look at where I get to meditate, by the way. Like, this is my view. It's awesome. So, yeah, anyways. I'm kind of going off and I'm not really making any more sense. It's been 11 minutes. Um, yeah, just really stoked, you know? My life really feels like it's kind of coming together and everything that I want and need is is here in this space. It's it's super cool. This is actually this particular space that I have right now has got to be the best place that I've ever had in my life. It is so awesome and so functional. I got my Murphy bed folds up and boom, I got my meditation room set up. I put stuff away, move things around and it's like, bam, I got my vlog studio. Um, obviously like my TV. Anyways, I'm totally, I've lost the plot in a big way. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, thank you for letting me be of service and giving my life purpose. And thank you for tuning in. Please like my video and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.